surgical equipment probably in 2006 after graduating. I was lucky to work in a very forward-thinking practice um, which had all the, the best of the best of the kit, so I was exposed to NSK very early on. The Variosurge for the piezo uh, use of that, probably since about 2000, 2011, so probably about seven years. And uh, you know, it's a piece of kit that's in my kind of daily uh, armamentarium when I'm when I'm working with patients. So when, when I did my first course in uh, sinus augmentation uh, in Los Angeles, the Varisurge was the unit that we were presented with for the course to use. And to be honest, initially when, when it went back to the surgery that I was working in Australia, we had a different uh, piezo and uh, I used that for a little bit, but it didn't seem to have the same amount of power and, and, and wasn't as slick in the setup of the, of the unit. So then when I had the opportunity to purchase my own piezo, um, I already had the Surgic Pro and the way that the two units combine very nicely and link together, so you have just one foot pedal and you know, it's, it's all very slick, but also you know, I really like the, the, the unit, the way that the handpiece holds, the, the, the range of tips and everything else, it all seems to work very nicely. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's a solid bit of kit. When patients don't have enough bone, we, we have to augment the sinus, uh, called open or lateral window sinus lift. And it, you know, it can be a fiddly procedure because you're working with very thin membrane. So we have to make a window in the lateral wall, uh, which is very thin bone sometimes. And then you've got to elevate the membrane. The membrane can be, you know, it's the thin of the lining of an egg. You know, it's, it's very friable. Um, and um, you have to be very delicate working the area. And conventionally, you would have used a straight surgical handpiece with a round burr and you would make the window. But you can't necessarily, you don't feel as in control of that as you're working. And if, if, the, if the burr touches the membrane, it's likely to perforate. And a perforated membrane doesn't mean the end of the procedure, but you have to then repair the perforation. If it's a large perforation, you may have to abandon the procedure. Um, so with the piezo, because the, the tips only cut bone, they don't damage the, the, the membrane, it just takes a lot of the, the stress and increases the control over the procedure. So for me, it's a very routine procedure. It's very predictable. And uh, you know my membrane perforation, perforation rates are very, very low. And I feel that's in part due to the control that the piezo gives me when I'm making my window. You can use it to make the window, you can use it to elevate the membrane. And uh, you know, it, it's a lot of control and power within the unit and I find that patients actually find it nicer because it's like they're having their teeth cleaned with the vibration noises rather than having a, you know the, the drill going and feel like they're, they're having their skull drilled so uh, it, it, you know it I really you know love using the kit and 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 you know for me the science lift procedures uh, you know it's a tricky procedure but it but it's fairly stress-free with with the kit, if my piezo is broken, I guarantee my blood pressure and stress levels will be going up having to use the surgical handpiece. So, um, no, it's a, you know, it's a wonderful bit of kit. My first awareness of NSK would have been after leaving university, um, and, and you know, my first practice. Uh, very lucky to work in a forward-thinking practice with all the kit, and uh, it, it was the kind of kit that it just does its job quietly. And, and it wasn't really until I. I worked in. I probably worked in 23 different practices over the years. I worked in different hospitals, different clinics. So you get to use lots of different kit and equipment from other companies. Um, and you know, when it's a bit, it's a bit clum, clum, clumsy, or it's a bit fiddly to set up, or you know, it's breaking down all the time. You know, you start to realise that you know there is a big difference between the companies. And um, you know, I've always any NSK representative that I've come across has been very helpful and very knowledgeable in, in what they're doing, very accessible if there's ever an issue. And um, you know, I, I had a had a nurse autoclave my ISD 900 electronic motor, and uh, you know, although that's a stressful thing, next day one arrived from NSK, and the rep was on the phone checking it was arrived, and you know, it's amazing service. And you know, NSK is a, a Japanese company, it's made in Japan. Um, you know, we know that you know samurai swords, Japanese knives. It's all that attention to detail, quality, and manufacturing process is very reassuring. Um, and the kit just works. You know, I mean, it, it's you know, I'm using it day in and day out. I'm never concerned that is, is the motor going to start? Is is the unit going to start? 
you know, um, and in hospital settings or where I've worked in the past, you know, you've got other companies there and probably seven times out of ten the, the motor doesn't start first time, the pedals you know, bust or, or the, the way they connect the saline to the unit's a bit flimsy and it's broken again, whereas, you know, as a, the units in this case just seems to be well thought out, it seems to be made, you know, with by a surgeon for surgeons, you know, and you get a real feel for that, the weight of the handpieces, the size of the handpieces, the range of uh, angulations and, and the feel of things. It just, as I say, quietly does its job fantastically, uh, as good kit should, should, you know, you shouldn't be worried about your kit working and malfunctioning. So, yeah, I, I hope that, it, you know, it makes me feel that I'm delivering the best I can for my patients, uh, and, and that's always been a priority for me. I'm a big fan of SK, and yeah, it's a product, product and a brand that, that I'm very pleased to, to be affiliated.